Philippians 4, 6 through 7. In nothing be anxious, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Deuteronomy 3.22 Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, He shall fight for you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or scared of them. For Yahweh, your God himself, is who goes with you. He will not fail you, nor forsake you. Joshua 1.9 Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. For Yahweh your God is with you wherever you go. Psalm 23 Yahweh is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in Yahweh's house forever. Psalm 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 46, 1 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46, 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 55, 22. Cast your burden on Yahweh, and He will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be moved. 
Psalm 56, 3. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Psalm 94, 19. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, your comforts delight my soul. Psalm 118, 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Psalm 121, 1 through 2. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart, and don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 24. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 12, 25. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a kind word makes him glad. Proverbs 29, 25. The fear of man proves to be a snare, but whoever puts his trust in Yahweh is kept safe. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep whose ever mind is steadfast in perfect peace because he trusts in you. Isaiah 40, 31 But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 41, 10 Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you hope and a future. Matthew 6. 25 through 34. Therefore I tell you, don't be anxious for your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor yet for your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothing? See the birds of the sky, that they don't sow Neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Your heavenly Father feeds them. 
aren't you of much more value than they? Which of you, by being anxious, can add one moment to his lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't toil, neither do they spin. Yet I tell you that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not dressed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today exists and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, won't he much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, don't be anxious saying, what will we eat, what will we drink, or with what will we be clothed? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, don't be anxious for tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mark 4, 35 through 41. On that day, when evening had come, he, Jesus, said to them, Let's go over to the other side. Leaving the multitude, they took him with them, even as he was in the boat. Other small boats were also with him. A big windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so much that the boat was already filled. He himself was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and told him, Teacher, don't you care that we are dying? He awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? How is it that you have no faith? They were greatly afraid and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? John 14, 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, give I to you. Don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful. Romans 8, 28 We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 38 through 39. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. 2 Timothy 1.7 
for God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and self-control. First Peter 3, 13 through 14. Now who is he who will harm you if you become imitators of that which is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you are blessed. Don't fear what they fear, neither be troubled. 1 Peter 5, 6-7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time casting all your worries on him because he cares for you. First John 4:18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Second Thessalonians 3.16 Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, in all ways. The Lord be with you all.